everyone i am mihir patel from department of pharmaceutical technology lg institute of pharmacy welcome you all in this online learning session pharma ignite is the youtube channel of lg institute of pharmacy it is a initiative of our college to give more and more pharmaceutical knowledge to our beloved students so please follow and subscribe our channel let us start our today's session in today's session we are going to talk about different points for skill up considerations for tablets so as you can see on the screen there are lot of points which we have to keep in our mind during the scale up techniques for oral dosage form like tablet you can see there are relatively so many factors that we have to study that we have to control and that we have to optimize for quality and reproducibility of our final dosage form that is tablet so if we start with the first one you can see material handling powder handling then the next one that is about the dry blending after that this process of granulation then after fluidized bed granulating processes after that a very important point about the concept of drying now after drying if you go through the concept of particle size and its distribution also it plays a vital role on the final formulation of particular tablet then if i say about the concept of blending and the last three points which you can focus that will ultimately leads to the final appearance and quality regardless of the product that is in green color you can identify that is first one that is specialized granulation proce procedures then after compression and then the concept of tablet coating so more or less i can say these are the number of points which we have to control during the study of this scale up techniques this topic is somewhat lengthy so i have divided it into two portion so please follow our next session in which we'll start with the green line topics so please make sure in this session we'll cover the topics till the point of blending from the next for the next particular session you can see that is specialized granulation procedure it is going to be followed with our next session so let us start with the first point that is about the concept of material handling or i can say that is powder handling see if you generally thought about any kind of a tablet process what is the process flow in industry what is the process flow in industry that we have to discuss first so i would say that right from the warehouse the material is going to dispense then if it is stored for a longer period of time obviously there might be chances of lumpness so that we have to break down so that particular area is known as shifting milling and then after it is going to come into the granulation part after that it goes to the compression and finally coating so this is called unidirectional flow of material by which our ultimate product is going to develop so the very first point over here you can see that how you are going to handle the material so obviously 
when it is it carries a two primary concern it carries a two primary concern one that is achieving reliable flow and second one that is maintaining blend uniformity that means if you are going to accommodate two or three materials at a time obviously it must have a good flow characteristic otherwise if any kind of segregation is there it may leads to the poor product uniformity so it should not be there so it is a kind of a controlling point over here so in that case i can say about the handling system obviously it must deliver the accurate amount of the ingredient that means the handling technique should be like of that it can deliver specific amount of material with the quantity which is required obviously handling system should be like of that so material loss will be minimum and finally there should not be any kind of cross contamination so at end most i can say we need to think about avoiding segregation so how we can avoid the point of segregation you can see we have to modify the powder in a way to reduce is inherent tendency to get segregate means we have to modify the property of specific powder then second thing we need to think about the change in its particle size the way by which mechanism it is going to segregate we have to target on that mechanism so if we target those mechanisms segregation is going to avoid then the very interesting point the cohesiveness of the powder material so obviously we have to control that points also and without material also we need to think about the equipment equipment in which different kind of forces are going to exert that we have to control over here the forces which are going to exert it may leads to the segregation so obviously that parameter also we have to control over here now in the next case if i thought about the blending process about the blending process so you can see about the simple concept of dry blending there are so many points which we can discuss over here so the dry blending should be taken take place in a granulation vessel in a granulation vessel larger batch may be dry blended and then subdivided into a multiple section so if i say if the batch size is larger it must be divided into different lot and then processes should be carried out all the ingredients should be free of lumps so as i have earlier said that we need to think about shifting and milling operation for the proper combination of this different kind of materials now the screening screening also plays an important role in the different kind of ingredients for its blending purpose so obviously this kind of processes should be set likewise of that which is reproducible and reliable now moving ahead to the next point that is about the concept of granulation so when we talk about the simple concept of granulation what amount of material you are going to carry that means weight of the material it has to be focused over here then shear forces which are going to generate during this granulation process inside the equipment so obviously that point should be considered under the scale up techniques then after if i talk about the the use of a multifunctional processors should be installed with the in the specific space and the provision of manpower is also important 
to carry out these all operations in a smooth way so it is also one of the consideration under the process of granulation then next you can see about the point of viscosity the viscosity of a granulating solution because if you have prepared the particular solution for a 10 tablets and if you are going to scale up for a 1000 or a 10000 tablet obviously in that case the viscosity of the solution should be checked and it has to be optimized for the final reproducibility of the product then if i say suppose if we have taken the concept of fluid wise bed bed granulation process we need to think about controlling of different points as you can see on to the screen there are number of points we need to focus over here so one by one you can see that the process inlet air temperature second one that is atomization air pressure third one that is air volume liquid spray rate that means this all factors are under consideration that means we have to continuously monitor and we have to think about it its working identification what is the nozzle position what is the number of spray rates which are required for the quality of the product product and exhaust air temperature conditions finally you can say that filter filter porosity relates the ultimate quality what should be the cleaning frequency if you are processing the particular product or a material what should be the cleaning frequency for this what is the bowl capacity that means these all factors are very important and it has to be taken under consideration now moving towards the next point same way as we have discussed about the concept of granulation now we'll talk about the concept of drying so when we have a thought of drying i can say two important equipments we have in our mind first one that is hot air oven or second one that is fluidized bed dryer so when you have a think of this hot air oven you can see lot of kind of points that we have to optimize or we have to control what is the air flow what is the air temperature depth of the granulation on a particular granulation points on the tray that means if you are putting granules into the tray at which depth you have to put this all does matter and ultimately its optimization gives the quality of product continuous monitoring of the drying level different kind of moisture analyzers are used over here in pharmaceutical industry continuously we have to measure the moisture and temp with the help of different kind of temperature probes i can see give a simple example in pharmaceutical industry one of the very fine company that is matler toledo so different kind of moisture analyzers are used over there next drying time at this specific temperature and the flow rates of each product is also important over here now if you are using fluid ice bed dryer again what should be the optimum load inside the fluid ice bed dryer what should be the air flow rate what is the inlet air temperature humidity conditions that means overall i can say we have to think about this each and every micro level points for the quality identification and reproducibility of the product now moving ahead to the next point that is about the particle size distribution i can say that it plays a key role in the quality of product so sizing can be done with the different options as you can see we can have a particle size separation or we can think on particle size reduction so either separation or reduction so obviously the major factor that is feed rate of material 
so again it is under consideration for the reproducibility so suppose as the feed rate is increased obviously with respect to this case resistance time within the chamber of the equipment which in turn results into the final distribution so this kind of modification during this particular scale up we need to think and ultimately it gives its own importance so last point you can see during this scale up overhead filling equipment is incorporated to mimic the large scale production that means we have to give such a kind of facility which will leads to the same procedure for our final batch reproducibility in the next point again you can see that is blending during blending there are lot of points as you can see blending load blending size blending speed mixing time this bulk density of the different kind of raw material individual characteristics of the material it has to be focused over here so i can say that i have been gone through the points which are very important for the scale up consideration for tablets please follow our next session in which we will start with the specialized granulation process thank you for watching our session stay connected with us for the second part of this particular topic till then stay engaged stay curious and don't forget to subscribe our channel that is pharma ignite thank you